a better resurrection. I have no wit, no words, no tears. My heart within me like a stone is numbed too much for hopes or fears. Look right, look left, I dwell alone. I lift mine eyes, but dimmed with grief. No everlasting hills I see. My life is in the falling leaf. O oh, Jesus, quicken me. My life is like a faded leaf, my harvest dwindled to a husk. Truly my life is void and brief, and tedious in the barren dusk. My life is like a frozen thing, no bud nor greenness can I see. Yet rise it shall, the sap of spring. O oh, Jesus, rise in me. My life is like a broken bowl, a broken bowl that cannot hold one drop of water for my soul, or cordial in the searching cold. Cast in the fire the perished thing, melt and remold it till it be a royal cup for him, my king. O oh, Jesus, drink of me. Structure and form. Christina Rossetti's poem, A Better Resurrection, is a poignant exploration of despair and the yearning for spiritual renewal. The poem consists of three stanzas, each with eight lines. The rhyme scheme is A-B-A-B-C-C-D-D, which creates a rhythmic and cohesive structure. This formal structure contrasts with the theme of emotional and spiritual turbulence, highlighting the tension between order and chaos. Themes, despair and desolation. The speaker describes a profound sense of emptiness and hopelessness. Phrases like, my life is like a faded leaf and my life is like a broken bowl, evoke images of decay and fragmentation, symbolizing the speaker's inner desolation. Yearning for renewal. Despite the pervasive despair, the speaker expresses a fervent desire for renewal and transformation. The repeated pleas for Christ to come into their life, to quicken and fill the emptiness, underscore a deep longing for spiritual resurrection. Spiritual redemption. The central theme of the poem is the quest for spiritual redemption. The speaker acknowledges their inability to overcome their despair alone, turning to Christ as the source of salvation and renewal. This reflects Rossetti's own devout Christian faith and the belief in the transformative power of divine intervention. Imagery. Nature imagery. The use of nature imagery, such as faded leaf, blighted tree, and broken bowl, effectively conveys the speaker's sense of lifelessness and decay. These images are common in literature to symbolize transience and mortality, aligning with the poem's themes of despair and the search for renewal. Religious imagery. Religious imagery is prevalent throughout the poem, with references to Christ, resurrection, and biblical allusions. The poem draws on the Christian concept of resurrection to symbolize the speaker's hope for a new beginning in spiritual revival. Tone and mood. The tone of the poem is one of deep melancholy, bordering on despair. However, there is also an undercurrent of hope and faith. The speaker's repeated appeals to Christ suggest a belief in the possibility of redemption, creating a complex emotional landscape that oscillates between despair and hope. Symbolism. The faded leaf. The faded leaf symbolizes the speaker's sense of uselessness and detachment from the vibrancy of life. It represents a state of being that is devoid of purpose and vitality. The broken bowl. The broken bowl is a powerful symbol of the speaker's shattered state. It suggests a sense of incompleteness and the inability to hold or contain anything meaningful without divine intervention. Christ as the healer. Christ is depicted as the ultimate healer and redeemer. The speaker's appeals to Christ to quicken and fill them symbolize the transformative power of faith and the hope for spiritual resurrection. A Better Resurrection by Christina Rossetti is a deeply moving poem that captures the struggle between despair and hope. Through vivid imagery and religious symbolism, Rossetti explores the theme of spiritual desolation and the yearning for renewal. The poem reflects the poet's devout faith and her belief in the possibility of redemption through divine intervention. It remains a powerful expression of the human condition and the search for meaning and purpose amid suffering. 